find out the transaction value and gst payable and if you total both the values whatever the total amount you'll get the total is called value of supply so if the transaction is happening between two states which tax is applicable ig st is applicable cgst sgst we are not calculating why we are not calculating the transaction is not happening within the state it is happening between two states hello everyone i am arun kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore dear students welcome to this new session that is session 3 on unit 1 that is value of supply in the previous session we were solving problems based on value of supply in this session also we'll be continuing solving the problems on value of supply so contents for this session problems on value of supply problem number 3 pqr company a supplier of machines provided the following information the wholesale price of the machine excluding all taxes rupees 50 lakhs handling and loading charges rupees 50000 installation charges rupees 80000 transportation cost rupees 60000 one year warranty cost rupees 30000 cash discount of 2% on wholesale price on machine gst at 12% compute transaction value and gst payable so if you find out the transaction value and gst payable and if you total both the values whatever the total amount you'll get the total is called value of supply so moving on to the solution part yes as usual we are supposed to make three columns that is particular amount amount so before that before putting columns you have to write the sentence that is computation of transaction value and gst payable or you can write computation of value of supply because that value of supply it 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 includes both the transaction value and the gst payable so particular amount amount so first we are supposed to take selling price of supply so what is the selling price of supply here the wholesale price of machine that is the selling price what is the cost rupees 50 lakhs so selling price where we are supposed to take we are supposed to take it in the outer column so rupees 50 lakhs next add we are supposed to add few items for this selling price so we have handling charges in the problem installation charges transportation charges and one year warranty cost so what is the handling and loading charges it is rupees 50000 and installation charges rupees 80000 so handling charges rupees 50000 next installation charges rupees 80000 next that is transportation cost rupees 60000 and one year warranty cost rupees 30000 so transportation cost rupees 60000 and one year warranty cost rupees 30 1000 yes if you total the value whatever the value we will get you are supposed to take it to the outer column so 50 plus 80 130 130 plus 60 190 190 plus 30000 it is 2 lakh 20000 lakh 20000 yes now you are supposed to add this 2 lakh 20000 with 50 lakhs so 50 lakh plus 2 lakh 20000 you will get 52 lakh 20000 yes we will get 52 lakh 20000 so from this value we are supposed to deduct the discount we are supposed to deduct the discount so what is the rate of discount here the rate of discount is 2% so we are supposed to calculate 2% on the selling price that is on 50 lakhs so 50 lakhs into 2% whatever the value we will get we are supposed to take it to the outer column that is 50 lakhs into 2% that is 2 divided by 100 we will get nearly 1 lakh rupees so if you deduct this 1 lakh rupees from 52 lakh 
20,000, you will get the balance. That balance is 51 lakh 20,000. You will get 51 lakh 20,000. This 51 lakh 20,000 is called what? Transaction value. 51 lakh 20,000 is called transaction value. So, on transaction value, we are supposed to compute GST at 12%. Yes, in the problem only it, it's given that is GST is at 12%. So now we are supposed to compute the GST and the place of supply is not given in this problem. If the place of supply is not given, we have to consider that supply that it is happening within the state. If the transaction is happening within the state, then CGST and SGST is applicable. So rate of GST is 12%. If we divide it equally, 6% CGST, 6% SGST. So if you compute 6% on 51 lakh 20,000, you will get 3 lakh 7,200. And 3 lakh 7,200. So 3 lakh 7,200 CGST, 3 lakh 7,200 SGST totally. 12% of tax. So if you add 3,7200, 3,7200, you will get 6,14,400. You'll get 6,14,400. If you add this 6,14,400 with 51,20,000, so whatever the amount you'll get, that amount is called the total value of supply. The amount is called total value of supply. So you will get 57,34,400. You will get 57,34,400. So this value is called what? The total value of supply. The value is called total value of supply. So this is how we are supposed to compute the value of supply. So moving on to the next problem, problem number 4, Santosh of Bengaluru supplies a machine and other essential accessories to Mr. Bhagwan of Kerala. So first here we have to understand from where to where the transaction is happening. So the transaction is happening from Bengaluru to Kerala. So if the transaction is happening between two states, what is the tax applicable? IG ST is applicable. So if the transaction is happening between two states, IGST is applicable. Yes, moving on. Compute the value of supply and GST payable from the information given below. So cost of the machinery, it is rupees 10 lakhs. Installation charges, rupees 1 lakh 50,000. Secondary packing charges, rupees 30,000. Design and engineering charges by the buyer, rupees 25,000. Cost of material supplied by the customer for free of cost, rupees 15,000. See whether the material supplied by the customer, whether it is free of cost or charged, but we are supposed to include that value to the value of supply, whether it will be charging or not. It is up to him. It is the understanding between the buyer and the supplier. Okay, but we have to consider that amount that is rupees 50,000. Next pre-delivery inspection charges rupees 10,000. Loading and handling charges rupees 5,000. Moving on cash discount at 3% on cost of machinery. Next essential bought out accessories supplied along with machinery valued at rupees 30,000. Bought out goods are taxed at 5%. Yes, here they are purchasing few accessories worth rupees 30,000 and they paid 5% of tax on that 30,000. See, here you have to understand this particular adjustment. See, if any tax is paid on purchasing of raw materials, the tax amount should be excluded. See, this 30,000 rupees is inclusive of tax of 5%. We are supposed to exclude the tax amount. Why? Because here we are computing the transaction value. We are computing the transaction value. On transaction value, we will be 
applying or imposing the tax right so that is why if any tax is included on any amount while we are computing the value of supply or transaction value we are supposed to exclude the tax amount so how to exclude the tax amount see 30000 rupees into 5 divided by 105% so why 105 because for 100% 100% value of goods 5% of tax is added. It is already added. So that is why we'll be, we are taking 105%. So 30,000 into 5 divided by 105, you will get the 100% value or you will get the actual value of the accessories. Next, applicable GST is at 18%. Compute transaction value and GST payable. So computation of transaction value and GST payable make three columns, particulars, amount, amount. So selling price of supply or cost of machinery. What is the cost of machinery? Rupees 10 lakhs. The cost of machinery is rupees 10 lakhs. So for that we are going to add the expenditures which are very relevant to that particular supply. So installation charges rupees 1 lakh 50,000. Secondary packing charges rupees 30,000. Design and engineering charges rupees 25,000. Cost of material supplied by customer 15,000. Pre delivery inspection charges 10,000. Loading and handling charges 5,000. And accessories supplied along with machinery. Accessories supplied along with machinery. What is the actual value which was given in the problem? That is rupees 30,000. But this 30,000 is inclusive of 5% of tax. So we calculated the value for 100% by doing this calculation. So 30,000 into 5 divided by 105, you will get 28,571. So if you add these values, you will get 2,63,571. So if you add 2,63,571 with 10 lakh rupees, you will get 12,63,571. So from this amount, from 12,63,571, we are going to deduct the discount. So let's discount at 3% on cost of machinery. So what is the cost of machinery in the problem? Rupees 10 lakhs. So 10 lakh rupees. 10 lakh rupees into the rate of discount 3%. So 3 divided by 100, you will get... 30,000. So deduct 30,000 rupees from 12,63,000, you will get 12,33,571. You will get 12,33,571. That value was called transaction value. So on transaction value, we are supposed to calculate GST. We are supposed to calculate GST. So in this problem, GST is at 18%, IGST is at 18% because CGST, SGST we are not calculating. Why we are not calculating? The transaction is not happening within the state. It is happening between two states. So that is why IGST is applicable. So if you calculate 18% on 12,33,571, if you calculate 18% on 12,33,571, you will get 2,22,042. You will get 2 lakh. 22,042. So take it to outer column directly. Add that amount with 12,33,571. You will get 14,55,613. You will get 14,55,613. So this value is called what? That value is called total value of supply. So that value is called total value of supply. So this is how we are supposed to solve the problems on value of supply. Moving on to the fifth problem, Ventes Associates, Bengaluru supplied certain chemicals to Ragulal Mysore on 10th March 2022 and further information given below. So supplied 50 tons of chemicals at rupees 40,000 per ton, freight charges rupees 180,000, packing charges rupees 110,000, weighing expenses rupees 20,000. Cost of instruments to produce chemicals rupees 3,10,000. Next, insurance up to the place of 
delivery rupees 50000 loading and handling charges rupees 30000 and moving on cost of pre delivery inspection paid by regulol on behalf of supplier 12000 subsidy received from state government rupees 50 lakhs next date of invoice issued 10th april 2022 due date of payment 15th april 2022 so by using this information we are supposed to compute the value of taxable supply and gst payable at 18 percent so moving on to the solution part computation of transaction value and gst payable or we can write computation of value of supply so make three columns particulars amount amount so selling price of supply they are supplying 50 tons of chemicals and they are charging 40,000 per ton so 50 tons into 40,000 per ton what is the value we will get rupees 20 lakhs we will get rupees 20 lakhs so for that we are supposed to add some expenditures which are related to this supply so freight charges rupees 1 lakh 80,000 packing charges 1 lakh 10,000 weighing charges 20,000 cost of instrument rupees 3 lakh 10,000 insurance charges rupees 50,000 loading charges rupees 30,000 next pre delivery inspection charges rupees 12,000 so if you add the inner column you will get 7 lakh 12,000 so 7 lakh 12,000 plus 20 lakhs you will get 27 lakh 12,000 so 27 lakh 12,000 is called what transaction value or taxable value in this problem discount is not given discount is not given that is why this value itself called transaction value if the discount would have given then we would have deducted the discount then we would have called the remaining amounts the balance amount as the transaction value but the discount is not given that is why this 27 lakh 12,000 is called what transaction value next to transaction value add gst at 18 percent add gst at 18 percent so cgst 9 percent sgst 9 percent so 2 lakh 44 80 rupees 2 lakh 44 80 rupees so if you total the value you will get 4 lakh 88,160 total you will get 4 lakh 88,160 this value is called what gst payable this value is called gst payable so if you add 4 lakh 88,160 rupees with this 27 lakh 12,000 you will get you will get 32 lakh 160 rupees you will get 32 lakh 160 rupees so this 32 lakh 160 rupees is called the value of supply the total value of supply i hope you all understood the topic value of supply how to compute what are the items we are supposed to include what are the items we are supposed to exclude and how to compute the transaction value and the gst payable and the total value of supply we see you in the next class until then thank you all